In this video, we are going to process a composite sales order, and that's a sales order containing composite items. And then we're going to pack this order from a goods out note on the stock app. So we're in the back office, we're in sales orders. We can see this order here, number 46. If we scroll down, we can see the composite items that have been sold. This is still a fully editable item um, and we can part dispatch composites if we want. Um, that would be like selecting a location, your courier service and what have you. So you can part dispatch composites and leave other items within that composite on back order. You can dispatch composites from different locations and items within the composite from different locations. So very flexible. But in this case, we're just going to process the entire order. We'll select the item and we'll run fulfillment rules. We've processed the order. You can see the status has now changed to processed. And if we come down to goods out notes. Here is our goods out note in the back office. Fully editable uh, goods out note. We could edit the address, find a new address. We could change our shipping. And here are the items, the child items of the composite. In this column, we've got the parent composite uh, SKU here, um, and the uh, child items that belong to each parent included with your preferred storage location. So now we're going to jump onto the app and pack the goods out note. In the stock app, we'll scroll down to goods out notes. We could view all goods out notes. But in this case, we're going to pack and dispatch a goods out note. Because we are packing directly from a goods out note, i.e. we haven't used a pick list, We've got our settings to show all goods out notes and we're not using totes or trolleys. We can open a goods out note. In the goods out note, we can see the details of when it was created, the status, the courier and courier service, the packing station, the total weight of the items in the uh, Goods out note to be packed. We can scroll down to the goods out note itself. Now we've got composite items here and you'll see that they are color coded and grouped by the composite parent. So if you wanna pack your composite items together, we make it nice and easy to see which items should be packed together. You've also got your storage locations so you could find the items. I could click onto the name of an item and up pops the image uh, and details about the item, manufacturer, part number, any tags you've got in the back office, weight, dimensions, and also the inventory that you've got by location. We can change the packaging. We could edit the weight if we wanted. We could create consignments, i.e. shift the uh, items into separate boxes or multiple boxes or within the same delivery. And that's this icon here. But in this case, we're just gonna start scanning in items. So 
As we scan in items, you'll see it turn green and the item filter to the bottom. If I scan a wrong code, obviously we alert the user with both an error message and a um, you know, visible message. I can increase the units using the plus and minus if we don't have barcodes. If there was a large number to add, I could just click on and add say 20, but we'll prevent you adding an incorrect number in. Uh, so that's 20 is too many. And of course we can scan. Now in the top right corner, we've seen the status change to packed. So we're ready to print our courier label. Now we could print label from your uh, courier label printer. In this case, I'm just going to dispatch the item. That's updated your e-commerce channel for that sales order or sales orders to uh, dispatched status. It's sent the courier tracking code to your customer and the item is now dispatched. So that is processing a composite sales order and packing the composite items in goods out notes on the stock app. Now that we've completed the pack on the stock app, we can have a look at the back office. This was our goods out note. It's updated to dispatched. We can see the items are dispatched. Your courier tracking reference would be in here um, once that the item has been dispatched and we've printed the courier labels. We could click through to the sales order. You can see the sales order has updated to dispatch status. Each of the items uh, have been dispatched. And here we can see the link back to the goods out note that we uh, packed and dispatched on the app. And if you needed to link back to that, we could just click through and there's the goods out note. So that's uh, processing a composite sales order and packing using the stock app.